It seems like the FSA is finally pulling up their socks. They are pushing out more warnings against possible scams than ever. And today we're just going to take a report of one. FSA warns against FXMG MT4 traders and Durban Forex Group. The FSA issued warnings urging the public to exercise caution when engaging in financial services with Durban Forex Group and FXMG MT4 traders. The FSA has received information suggesting that Durban Forex Group may be providing financial services to the public public without proper authorization. Without a certain or implying any conclusions, it emphasizes that Durban Forex Group is not authorized under any financial sector law to offer financial products or services. Despite the FSA's attempt to contact them, Durban Forex Group has not responded. Attempts, sorry, attempts, so multiple attempts, multiple times. Additionally, the FSA has found that FXMG MT4 Traders is falsely claiming affiliation with authorized financial services provider FXGM South Africa PTY LTD trading as FXMG ZA on various websites. They must use FXMG ZA's provider number and logo and their website and social media pages closely mimic FXMG ZA's layout. FXMG ZA has confirmed that it has no connection with FXMG MT4 traders who has also failed to respond to FSA inquiries. The FSA strongly advises the public against engaging in financial services with individuals or entities that are not authorized to conduct such business. The public is advised to contact an authorized financial services provider if in doubt and to always check Number one, that an entity or individual is authorized by the FSA to provide financial products and services, including for giving recommendations about how to invest. Mentorship, you up next. <laughs> what did I tell you guys? What category of advice the person is registered to provide as there are instances where companies or people are registered to provide basic advice for a low risk product, then offer advice on far more complex and risky products that the FSP number utilized by the entity or individual offering financial services matches the name of the FSP on the FSA database, the FSA concluded uh here's the previous article on the fca that is ramping up the war on scammers if you take a look at this you will see that this is the press release the warning against fxmg mt4 traders so if ever you come across a fxmg mt4 traders please just know that they are copying they are stealing they are duplicating fxmg z a, so that they can get to your money. They aren't FSA regulated and they aren't affiliated with the original FX. MGZA. Yo, there's so many letters. If you take a look, you can pause to read at this. You will see that this is the official warning and press release that the FSA made against Durban Forex Group as well. And in here, they also say that the entity or individual is authorized by the FSA. You must make sure rather that the entity is authorized by the FSA. And then also that for giving recommendations, you guys that's doing mentorships, the FSA is coming for you guys as well because many of you guys are running mentorships you're not giving the people the correct information they sign up under your ib link they lose money under your ib link then um, you are sitting with all of the commissions made based on trades that they took whether they won or lost the commissions came from trades that they took and then also that you must also check the fsp number if you've been on my tiktok lives you would have seen that there's a lot of people that's claiming that they can do copy trading service under a specific broker but then they don't show up as juristic representatives and you must always check for that because people will use many lies and they will say many things to get into your head especially one of those and if someone is doing something under someone else's license they will always show up as a juristic representative if they do not show up as a juristic representative i'm gonna need you guys to understand that the person that you might be dealing with might either be misinformed or they are trying to pull a quick one on you i'm really keen to see who the fsa is going to be sending warnings about in the future and um, let's just hope that this industry gets cleared up in between 2024 and 2025. If the FSA releases warnings on the people in this industry that they should, then by the end of 2025, we should sit with a clean 
clean, clean industry. I also feel like restrictions and limitations and fine that they have put on Sandile Shese, they must put on some other people as well so that they can stop selling services, products and um, signals and stuff to people that doesn't work. So yeah, I'm really keen to see what future releases there's going to be because a whole lot of more people is going to turn at the FECA store. That I can guarantee you. I will check you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've learned something today, if you've seen something new today, please do smash that like button for me. Leave a comment in the comment section. Please do subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you are a subscriber, please help me make the circle bigger. Share this channel so that we might hopefully reach 100k before the end of the year. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Cheers. Ever wondered what it takes to maximize your capital and achieve your financial freedom? At IFX Brokers, we specialize in empowering traders with cutting-edge tools and expert insights, helping many traders that are struggling to navigate the volatile markets and its ever-changing nature. With IFX Brokers' robust analytics and real-time data, you stay ahead of the market shifts. With a personalized approach to your queries, our dedicated support tailors our service to help you reach your financial goals. Ready to elevate your trading experience? Visit the link in my description and start your journey to financial success. IFX Brokers, where expertise meets opportunity. Join a community of successful traders today.